For the past few decades, the story of illegal immigration to the U.S. has been about Mexico and Central America. This is now changing faster than almost anyone thought possible. Under the Biden administration, the entire world now seems to be arriving at America's doorstep, and no one has benefited more from the Biden border crisis than Venezuelans. Since January 2021, U.S. Customs and Border Protection has arrested over half a million illegal aliens from Venezuela. That's more than the population of Atlanta. Between 2022 and 2023, the number of Venezuelans crossing increased by a whopping 77% and shows no signs of slowing down. This kind of growth doesn't just happen out of the blue. Venezuela's corrupt socialist dictatorship has been in power for decades, and the country's economic situation was dismal long before illegal immigration from Venezuela began skyrocketing under President Biden. Millions of Venezuelans had already left by the time the Biden administration took office, most to nearby countries who shared a language and were willing to accept them. Open borders policies from the Biden administration are the key factor convincing many of these same Venezuelans, who are already safely settled in other countries, to uproot their lives yet again and move toward the U.S. illegally. They come because they know they'll be allowed to enter, live, and work in the U.S. The Biden administration encourages Venezuelans to come here illegally. In fact, it allows them to fly right into the U.S. through its abuse of immigration parole. This special authority is meant for limited case-by-case -case situations, but is being used for mass releases into the U.S. Parolees can use taxpayer-funded welfare benefits and gain work permits in less than 30 days, while legal immigrants around the world wait months or years. Another pull factor for Venezuelans is TPS, Temporary Protected Status. This status is intended to offer temporary protection for foreign nationals in the U.S. who can't return home due to disaster or strife. In reality, it has become a never-ending quasi-amnesty that allows many nationalities to remain in the U.S. for decades without status, working and consuming taxpayer-funded services. The Biden administration created and continues to renew TPS for Venezuelans, allowing them to remain without fear of deportation. This also encourages more to come to the U.S. to take advantage of the special status. The Biden administration has given up on detention and deterrence of migrants as a strategy. Lax enforcement, combined with policies that encourage illegals to migrate, creates havoc in our communities and for taxpayers. More importantly, it creates a national security risk for the U.S. That's because the Biden administration's parole program allows Venezuelans to enter the U.S. even with an expired passport. More disturbingly, Venezuela's government is deeply hostile to the United States, and its former vice president is even personally linked to Hezbollah terror networks. Its government has supplied genuine Venezuelan passports to non-Venezuelans, including potential national security threats from countries like Iran, a rabidly anti-American state sponsor of terrorism. Letting in hundreds of thousands of Venezuelan nationals, or people claiming to be, is especially reckless and irresponsible, and exposes American citizens to added risk at a time when terror threats are at an all-time high. Open borders policies introduced under the Biden administration have changed the face of illegal immigration and are exposing American citizens to unprecedented risks. These are fair solutions. Securing our borders, ending catch and release, as well as parole and TPS abuse, and stopping economic migrants from abusing our asylum system. To read FAIR Research's full report, please visit fairus.org.